Do you want to know the newest happenings here in the Carolina Forest area of Myrtle Beach? Well, watch this quick video to find out the latest and greatest. Today we're going to quickly summarize the projects in the Carolina Forest area that are either canceled, proposed, underway, or finishing up. So let's get started. Before we get into that, if you haven't yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on our weekly videos. Okay, first let's talk about some things that are not happening anymore. And after pushback from the community, three major projects are canceled. First, the huge development on Postal Way has been denied. Second, Conway Medical Center made an announcement at the end of February that they no longer plan to build their $160 million state-of-the-art hospital along International Drive. Third, the application for the animal shelter that the Grand Strand Humane Society had wanted to put along River Oaks Drive was withdrawn. So this leads us to talk about something that is now in the proposal stages. Recently, I had heard rumblings about a potential charter high school coming along River Oaks Drive. So I did some digging and it turns out that they want to put this on the same land that the Humane Society project wanted to use. And according to my Ori News, Coastal High School, which is a public charter school, wants to use nearly 112 acres that are situated between River Oaks Drive and the Intracoastal Waterway to expand from its current location that houses students from grades nine to 12. They would like to expand from the 210 students they have now to 500 students and then later add a middle school onto the same property. Now this week, this project is gonna be at a planning commission workshop. And from there, they're gonna hold a public hearing and then make a recommendation to the Ori County Council. So we're gonna keep you posted on this. Now let's talk about some exciting things that are underway here in the Carolina Forest area. And first, sticking with that conversation about schools, the two elementary schools that we had told you about last year are now getting closer to being built. And as I've been taking Hudson to gymnastics every week, we keep seeing the changes as Horry County Schools has been clearing the land on Carolina Forest Boulevard and now has put up a sign introducing the upcoming elementary school. The construction on the other elementary school that we had told you about, which is gonna be built along Ronald McNair Boulevard by Bella Vita is also underway and these schools are estimated to have a capacity of 800 to 1200 students and are expected to open for the 25 to 26 school year. Another project we've been watching come out of the ground as we drive by every day is the new Soho Town Center on International Drive just in front of the Lowe's Food Shopping Center. Now this estimated seven to eight million dollar project is gonna showcase the popular local restaurant chain Soho along with 10 other stores. One thing that we're really excited about is that that centerpiece Soho restaurant will have outdoor seating on the rooftop, which is really cool for Carolina Forest. Construction on that is now underway and it's projected to open sometime around midsummer 2024. In another shopping center in the Caroline Forest area, the marketplace at the mill has also had work being done recently and looks to be adding more retail space on the side of Carolina Forest Boulevard. Now I heard along the grapevine that one of those stores is that's underway is going to be a noodles and company. So we're gonna keep you posted on if that actually does in fact come and then what else is going in there. Not far from this is the Highway 31 interchange project that we explained to you in a video last year. And as of now, that project is still not underway. Horry County put out this information sheet and as of spring 2024, they're still in the planning design permitting stages. And this project now has an anticipated construction start date of 2025. As for new construction homes in the area, I was just given the opportunity to walk through the new Ryan Homes model at Indigo Bay. This is scheduled to be officially open this April, and that's when they plan to start selling their first new phase. 
and it looks like they're gonna have some wooded lots, lake lots, and larger, larger home sites to choose from. Also, we had told you a while back about the planned community on River Oaks Drive by Chesapeake Homes called Traditions at Carolina Forest. Well, finally, roads are in, streetlights are in, and we are hearing that the first homes should be going up anytime now. So we're going to do a video on that when it's officially up and running. So be on the lookout. Now, just down the street from that is another community that's coming along River Oaks Drive. As we discussed with you in a recent video a couple weeks ago about the golf course being sold. According to Mungo Homes website, their development of the first phase of that community on River Oaks Drive is anticipated to start this summer of 2024. And that's gonna offer 220 single family homes and it'll have amenities such as a swimming pool, cabana, and open wooded spaces. We're gonna keep you posted on that community as well as it gets up and running. Now, as mentioned at the very beginning of this video, the largest construction project proposed for the Postal Way area, which would add 1,200 homes, was recently denied. However, the 150 townhouse community Chatham Crossing was approved back in 2021, and this project is now in the starting phases, and part of that is a roundabout on Postal Way that is currently under construction and causing delays around that road. This roundabout and a connector road to Highway 501 northbound will hopefully help with the traffic flow along Postal Way as new communities like this one are coming up. The Chatham Crossing Townhouse community will be located between Postal Way and the Wizard Golf Course. Okay, finally, let's talk about new construction closeouts. Now, two of the top selling most popular communities that we've told you about before, Berkshire Forest and the parks are now finishing up their new construction opportunities. So now might be your last chance to get a new home in one of those neighborhoods. Now that you're in the know about the happenings here in Carolina Forest, we would love to hear your thoughts. So make sure to comment below. And remember, before you go, we'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on our video. And don't forget to call the Harita team for all your real estate needs.